Mrs. Mannion, what was your occupation before you were married? Housewife. Oh, then you've been married before? Yes, once. I suppose your first husband uh, died. No. Did you divorce your first husband to marry Lieutenant Mannion? Your Honor, if counsel wants to know the grounds for Miss Mannion's divorce, let him ask that question. What were the grounds for divorce, Mrs. Mannion? Mental cruelty. Naturally. And how long uh, after your divorce was it that you married, Lieutenant Mannion? No, I'm not sure. May I refresh the witness's memory for Mr. Dancer? By all means. I believe she told me that they were married three days after the divorce. Thank you, Mr. Beagler. Is that correct, Mrs. Mannion? Yes. Then unless yours was a whirlwind courtship, you must have known Lieutenant Mannion before your divorce, did you? Yes. Mrs. Mannion, what is your <clears throat> religious affiliation? I'm a Catholic. Catholic in good standing? Well, no, the divorce, you know. You mean you were excommunicated because of the divorce and remarriage? Yes. Mrs. Mannion, wouldn't you say that a Catholic who can blithely ignore one of the cardinal rules of her church could also easily ignore an oath taken on one of its artifacts, say, an oath taken on a rosary? I, I don't think that's true. But wouldn't you think there'd be some doubt about the integrity of such a person? I don't know. Uh, all I know is the rosary means something to me. I see. Well, I'll pass on to something else. Mrs. Manning, you testified that your husband came home late from his work on the night of the shooting. Were you a little angry about it being late? Well, I, I, I guess I was a little put out. Did you have an argument? Not much. A little. When you left the trailer to go to the inn, did your husband know you were going? He was asleep. Was part of your reason for going without his knowledge because you were uh, vexed? Well, I, I'd been ironing all day, and I... Yes, I guess that's true. Your Honor, the counsel has deliberately cut off my view of the witness. I'm sorry, Mr. Beagler. I, I wouldn't want to interfere with your signals to Mrs. Mahoney. Well, I object to the implication I was signaling the witness. This is the shabbiest courtroom trick I've ever seen. You haven't lived, Mr. Beagler. Well, Your Honor, I ask the court to rule on my objection. Mr. Dancer, will you be careful not to place yourself between Mr. Beagler and his witness? Oh, of course, Your Honor. Anything else, Mr. Beagler? You do it once more, I'll punt you all the way out into the middle of Lake Superior. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, this rowing has got to stop. The next one of you that speaks out of turn will have me to deal with. 